recording. And I will turn on live transcript. So uh, here we go. So welcome to the October 11th, October 12th metrics model meeting. Um, I have kind of a list of things that I would like to kind of present today. And I also put any other updates that people would like to add to the agenda. Is there anything that anybody wants to add before I get started? No. no. Okay. Okay. So, um, so just a few things that that I was doing kind of prior to the meeting today. I guess I can close that. Is um, I've been working just a little bit on the repository. So this was. This is the. Um, do you know this document, Yuhui? This mm -hmm. is the ecosystem document. You know what I mean? Where you had the productivity yeah, yeah. and software and social, robustness, software and social. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I've been updating this a little bit to kind of coincide with um, the metrics that the metrics models that we have either ready or in progress. So I was just trying to. Because I think you had, when you had first put that document together, a lot of the models you put in there were just kind of early models or just models that you were kind of thinking of on your mind. And so I just took the time to, for example, community activity, project engagement, project awareness, funding. Mm -hmm. These are all metric metric models that we have in, in kind of moving forward in some nicer state. So I was just really trying to update this README to kind of account for those things. Yep, sure. Okay, so um, that should be all square. If somebody can merge that PR, that would be great. I can do that. Okay. So there was no content change. I didn't change any of the headings, Yahui. It was just mostly to align the metrics. Thank you. Yep. Yes. I'm on the right one. This is 50, right? Yep, yeah, it's 50. Yep, I'll merge it. Thank you. Just going to do a quick review. Okay. Some oh, yeah. rules. LGTM. That's exactly <laughs> what I wrote. How did you know? <laughs> not even it merged. Thank you. Um, so June's not here. So I did want to talk just a little bit about this. This is the safety definition. So this this metric, um, these were comments, June had put this forward in July of earlier this summer. And then Yahui, you had a variety of comments. And I think June has been attending to those comments. One of the challenges that we kind of have is this metric is a, it's a little bit, or I'm sorry, this model is a little bit older than kind of how we're defining models now. Just in the sense of like it has stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. Like it's it's a little bit more robust than than okay. it's a little bit more information than we need, I think. So there are a couple options here. One is we could decline the poll request and then just work on it in a Google Doc, or we could merge the poll request. Oh, there's June. We could merge the poll request and then work on it from there. Do people have thoughts on? on how they want to work on this. Hi, June. We're talking about Hi. the, how are you? Thanks for coming. Uh, um, we're working, talking about the safety, the safety definition. So I was just saying that, you know, I really like the content that's in here and I don't want to lose any of it, but I, I think a few times like metrics in the model, like we have psychological safety and we have a fairly like extensive overview of psychological safety. In, in a lot of our models, we don't have this level of detail. So I, maybe I guess I'll ask people what they think about this level of detail. Um, because uh, in, in the safety uh, original doc, yep. uh, the most of the metric is a survey. Okay. Oh, I see. So they're not they're not necessarily existing metrics. Yeah, I mean, there there's no 
I mean, the trace data, there's no trace data in this matrix model. Okay. Matrix, matrix in this model, uh, this survey is related. I see. I, yeah. Okay. So, so I probably yeah. should keep it. Do you, do you want to put these survey questions here? Yes. So, and this question from uh, the single metric about uh, maybe I put the link on, on this yep. talk. Okay. No, I, actually, that uh, makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Yeah, but uh, maybe this is not the the same as the uh, uh, single metric. Yep. Not not the full. Yeah. So, maybe they can put it the, under the data insights part. But to, if you look at the metric, metric has the same detail: stage one, stage two, stage. If you open that link, math in the uh, psychological safety link in the metric. If you open that metric, you will see exact uh, duplication. So that's uh, that's where I would propose that we should have a brief summary of the metric. And if anyone wants to refer to the metric, they can refer it over here. Uh, I got your question. I got your point. So we don't have to go go too much deep deep down to these questions. We they're... just put the yeah, they, they are already there. We can just put the link of the metric. What do you think, Jim? Mm, maybe we could uh, give an example. We could. We, uh, yeah, we could, but but I think we, we should put it, move it to uh, under the data insights part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Metric definition of this metric model. So just if I look at the template here, like we would just have the metrics and then to your point, Yehui, yep. the link. we would talk about the actual surveys and the deployment here in the data insights. I'll put the questions in the data insight. Yeah. And uh, yep. give them an example to how to use it. Yeah, so why don't, um, so, I, I like that because that it keeps the content because I really like the content <laughs> that's in the model. <laughs> so I think it's just a kind of a rearrangement and we can kind of take a take Vinod's point as well with respect to you know when it's okay we could just refer to the metric. I'm not sure that every one of these like inclusive governance like this is not this list i don't think is in here you know what i mean so there are times like this is inclusive uh -huh. governance points to this metric mm. you mean you mean put it under the metrics definition i mean in we the metric we could put it in the insights okay yeah sure What do you think we're not? Yeah, no, this makes sense because the first was like one-to-one -one mapping. This is more, you are taking context from that, but not exact mapping, so. Yeah, not exact mapping. It isn't, ex yeah, it isn't. So, um, do you would you propose i guess it's just a path forward it to me it might be a little bit easier if i just move this to a google doc and then we could work on it there june mm. or i i could i could merge this and then we can work off of this markdown file. Either is fine with me, whatever is easiest for you. I'm, I'm fine for both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Vinod, would you have um, a Maybe we could remove some, uh, some not mapping, uh, some not exact mapping questions. So re uh, remove it first. <clears throat> yeah, my preference, for working in many of the working groups, I have always like felt 
uh, easy, comfortable doing in the Google Docs, and then anyone can come and merge those, like uh, issue a PR. So maybe we all work together in the Google Doc, and then June issue a PR, fresh PR once it is finalized by everyone in the group. That seems like it might be the easiest path forward, just because this is kind of how we work on these. Vinod, could you, is that okay with you, June? Mm. Yeah. Uh, if Hold you on. want, I can quickly create the Google Doc. June, is that okay for you? Okay. Okay. So again, I, I read through it. I like the content in here. I just think it, we just need to rearrange it just a tiny bit. I, 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 can, I, can, I can also help with the June on this put up. We can review it, give the comments. Sounds good. Okay, so Vinod. And yep. <coughs> here, Vinod. Um, can you and you can put the link in here, Vinod? Yep, I'm creating the link. Just okay, give me a thank minute. you. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, so overall, I've been oh, overall, I've been cleaning up the spreadsheet as well, just because I'm just making sure that if we have a released metric, so for example, community activity or DEI event badging but it's the same text that we have in the Google Doc so that those two are aligned with that one another. should be important. Yeah. Yep. So I don't want those separate. So I went through those today and just made sure. And Vinod, can you put the link here as well for safety? Yes. You know, in this, so we can track it there as well. Um, so I, I've just been spending a little bit of time on that. Um, prior action items. Um, I have another pull request here. This was between me and, and June. So I went through and this pull request, if you recall, this is the project engagement. And I think June and Yahui, you had worked on this one quite a bit. If I recall, this is the different committers, contributors, issues closed. Yeah, I, I think I gave, I gave some comments to June. And, okay. Uh, it was good. I just, the only thing I did was I just added the link to the metrics. Yep. So that's, okay. that's all that this PR is. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. So just going through. So if somebody could merge that one as well. That's 52. That's 52. All right. Let's do that. Oh, <laughs> Open seven hours ago. Oh, yeah. Working fast here. Can anybody guess what I'm writing in the comment? LGTM. <laughs> there you wow. go. You know, I think a lot of my time I'm just trying to spend always getting us on track. Yeah, keeping us together in terms of our thinking. I do have a new metric that I'm trying to look at as well. Um, development responsiveness. I, I actually have go through that documentation. I don't have more comments, but I only have one concern that there's no data insights content, but uh, it could be fun to 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 create a pull request for that. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, kind of our, our model, if you're okay with it, Yahui, we've been at least merging the definitions. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay. So, um, I, I can create, I can create this pull request. Okay. And this one is development responsiveness. Yep. Okay. So that would move to, I mean, at that point, it's going to be pretty much ready. Okay. Um, and then Yahui, can you also, or actually it doesn't matter whenever it's merged, we'll make sure that we get it into yeah, the, I will yeah. yeah, get it into I the, a, I a pull, I a GitHub link. Yeah. okay. Thank you. Okay, great. Look at us. We're getting work done. 
Yeah. By the way, I have, I have one, one, two more, two more uh, matrix model uh, about code quality, currently, and uh, and uh, community service and support. Yeah. Which is supposed to be reviewed by Shane. We are waiting for the response for that comments. Okay. Sean, have you had a chance to take a look at these? I don't know if you're available right now. He may have stepped away. We'll ask him when he comes back. But yeah, this one right here, code quality. I mean, I can also take a look at them, Yahui, just to yeah. help move them forward. So why don't I do that? So code quality guarantee, and was it that one? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Sean, did you hear us? I'm um, sorry, I had to. I had a personal need. <laughs> um, so if you were. You had been assigned, you know, code quality guarantee. Do you remember? Yes. That? Yes. I'm coming to this meeting with deep regret that I did not do that yet. Fully aware that I have actually two tasks. There That's one of them that I have not done yet, even though I said I would. So. And then the other was community service and support. Yep. I know. Do you want to? I'll do them tomorrow. Or today. You could just do Or them today. Right yeah, I can just do them right after this meeting. All right. Or you could kind of do them while you listen into the meeting. That's true, yeah. <laughs> uh, what was the other one? Why can't I remember? Community support, code quality guarantee. Community service and support. So, uh, this is link, okay. Did you fix it? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. And then can you get that in here too, Vinod? Uh, so, I think that metric was already in the Google Doc uh, before it was being created by. It Julie was kind of an Pia. older version of it. Yes. So can you? So I have, yeah, I have like... copied uh, her PR and created a Google Doc from that. Okay. That yeah, will that work? Yeah, but then there's also this safety. See this one here. Yes, I, this is what I was trying to see, like. Which one to keep? Both of these, you or just keep this and just move it over here into remarks, like old version. Okay. Okay. You know okay. I mean, that, that was one that I think, yeah. and it's still in there, but mm -hmm. I had spent a lot of time on it, and I want to make sure that we don't lose anything that she may have added. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. Good so far. Mm -hmm. All right, moving right along. All right, so another thing that I did was I spent time, so for any of the in progress and ready metrics, I took some time and tried to go through and add, if you recall, the we want the context tags and the keyword tags because as we roll out the new website, it's gonna be based on a, a search model more than any other kind of model. So we need to have um, kind of a commitment to terms that enable search. And so if I recall what I did, or what the conversation was last time that one of the things that we wanted to do in the keyword tags was to kind of highlight the metrics that are in the model. You know, so if, the, if one of the metrics was downloads, that was something that we wanted to put forward as a keyword, or if there was something about pull requests. We wanted to use that as a keyword. Do do am I? So I, th I think I'm remembering that right. So what I did was I I went through, and um, if there was something about a a change request, so like let's say it was like length of a change request or number of re review cycles in a change request, I just pulled it out and I'd call it pull request. But I just pulled it out like as one thing, or if it was like age of an issue or length of an issue or comments in an issue. I just put issue, you know what I mean? Kind of the highest level thing. Um, Cause I just didn't think we needed something as low as like number of comments in an issue that seemed very bulky. So, okay. So I just, I went through and really what you're seeing here um, is largely uh, kind of a, a meta, a meta look at the metrics that are in the model. And if you want to check me, you can, but um, so then each one of these has a context tag, which Kevin was asking for as part of the search process. And then these are the, these are the defined context tags. 
so that you can kind of browse a little bit based on these context tags. But if you do a search, these are the keyword tags. So I, I took some time to do that as well. Any questions or comments on that? You can add anything, you can remove stuff. I don't really care. Okay. Uh, the things about context tags, we actually, we define the context tags around the ecosystem. Do we need to add all the uh, metrics model as an um, as ecosystem? Because <coughs> all the metrics model, I think, could move under the ecosystem. This context. Yeah, that is no problem. I mean, that's. We don't want it. So here I have it for one. I had it for security risk. That's what I'm working on now. But I think we have room. And here it is for ecosystem as well. Kevin doesn't want to go past three on context tags. You know, one, two, three. But we could easily add that, as you're saying, like that. Yep. Yep. No problem. All right. Okay. As you watch me type, oops. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. I'm totally good with that. So thank you for the feedback. And so I think this will this will at least take care of it for us in terms of searching on the new website. And I think that's supposed to be deployed in a month or so. We, we, have, no, we have no limited number for the for the keywords, right? Keyword types. There's no you can put whatever you want in there. <laughs> it's unlimited. <laughs> Not that detail thing. For example, like like as you mentioned, we already have issue types. We don't have have more issue resolution or issue duration. Yeah, I mean, I just I I didn't do that. I, it was just a decision that I made when I was sure. going through it. So, um, kind of you can see like it's always just pull request or fork or influence or issue. You know. Okay. Any other comments or questions on? context tags and keyword tags? Nope. Okay, good, thank you. Okay, um, let's continue on. Look at that, we're, we're moving right along. So um, I had I was kind of working through, as hanging out in this document quite a while today, I was kind of working through um, the red ones, you know what I mean? Like which of these that we have under considering might be useful in a couple of ways. One is what's something that I hear often is, is needing to be thought about from a metrics model perspective. And then also what's something that we could probably um, use trace data for to help get, particularly with the work that you're doing around your SAS model, Yuhui, you know what I mean? And the stuff that Sean is doing with um, Augur and um, the San Diego front end, you know what I mean? Like what are the what are the metrics models that might be consumable? So the one that I kind of gravitated towards and I thought we could take a look at today was project security risk. And I know that I'm guessing that Yehui and Sean, you have a lot of thoughts on, on security um, because I pulled a lot of the metrics from the risk working group. <laughs> as as candidates for this so um if you if you just it's right here if you click on that link in the model or i'm sorry in the minutes So I was hoping we could just take like a minute or a couple minutes anyway, and just why a model around assessing security risks might be important, particularly around this user story component. I wrote down a few that kind of came to mind, um, but if there's any others, 
Sean, I don't know if you have a minute to take a look at that. Yeah. Looking. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. So I just, I know you talk a lot about this stuff with the risk working group and the work that you do. Yeah. And you just might have some nice user stories. Why, why security matters. <laughs> you no, know? I mean, I think, I mean, security is the one of the things that matters right now that nobody needs to have it explained to them. It is the central concern for most open source projects right now, largely because of the um, um, executive orders and the White House Office of Science and Technology policies um, note that we need to focus on security in open source. So this is, this is well known. I don't know if we want to cite the OSTP report, but Why not? I mean, but, like, a, yeah, but it is, it is, um, it's motivating the entire open source world, um, right now, but, uh, I'll find the link. Uh, Attending to the many of the risk working group meetings, uh, I think this seems to be too broad. Risk has been looked at from very different angles. So what angle we are taking, are we taking all the angles or we are taking just focus on the one aspect because there are so many uh, uh, risk, risk of the people, risk of the software, risk of the community. Yeah, that's also one of my comments. If we mentioned software security, we have to consider in like uh, defective resolution, like like type metallic lead linear. But um, uh, uh, for the community's uh, perspective, we could consider bus factor something like that. I mean, they are both for the security, but they are not the same security. Sure. I think when I had when I was the some of the initial text we had on this, it really did seem like it was pointed this direction mm -hmm. as a, a software security risks, okay. not necessarily the community. Uh, if we talking about security, I suddenly because we are we all also have a defined uh, metrics model, which we haven't implemented yet. But um, I I could say that we have lots of uh, common things. Uh, for example, um, and uh, I would like to add more. Uh, uh metrics under this metric step model is that okay which so, one under the security model yeah this is oh, yeah model. yes yeah that, so, that's what this conversation is about yes please <laughs> yes please i don't have to say set, set up another similar one i don't want to do that uh, for example uh, do we have a, um, but that's also referring to another question that uh, the metrics i had that um, chaos haven't had yet. <clears throat> For example, uh, the sound release. Every every release have been signed with a uh, with a uh, um, um, priority key. Uh, what is it? Can you type that in here? I can type it. You can't type. Oh. Uh, uh, I can open up that. Wait a minute. Do we have a metric for programming language and distribution? Yeah. I mean, I didn't put a ton of time into thinking about these, so don't 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 don't, don't beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> I was just kind of going through the list of don't tase me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have a model for this. And also, do we do we have a metrics about um, uh, a security policies? So, which means we uh, it's used to check if this community have set up this mechanism. No. This is what you like a published security policy like that. 
yeah, yeah. That's all about the software security policy. Well, we don't have this as a metric. No. Okay. And uh, all that. Do we have? Do I think we already have something related to the fast test, right? We have for testing. Yeah. Do we point to the fast test? We have. Uh, we could bring it up here. Hold on a second. Okay. Hold on, I got one. Test coverage. Here you go. That's it. No, I don't think. I don't think. Okay. And I guess one of the questions I had on this too is this was a residual in the document before we're doing this. And so this is the OSSF criticality score. So Sean, I know that I think you have worked with folks. Yep. Is this uh, something that should be considered when we're looking at metrics in the metrics model? Like we don't yep. we don't yeah. have this as a metric ourselves, but there's nothing that no, tells we couldn't. We out. yeah, the criticality score is one of like thirty five components of the OSSF scorecard now. Okay, and it's it's probably the right one for our own criticality you know security measure okay, okay. Um, we do a full test of everything but like we run the whole OSF, ossf scorecard in auger but, but you don't need the, to you don't need to do that okay yeah do you think That's programming overkill. language distribution is a concern for software security yeah because different language you know some languages are more or less secure than others like Okay. I would characterize JavaScript as relatively insecure <laughs> or unsecure. Okay. Um, but there are, and there are languages that are actually, they exist for the purpose of more secure systems. So. Okay. Um, and then I guess the one last one I had for you too is- Libier is good. Yeah. Yeah, good yeah Libier is good. I, yeah. I had the only concern with the programming language in this because I don't know, uh, as you say, Sean, Java is more risky, but there are many good projects in Java that are like... No, JavaScript. Um, yeah, JavaScript. Okay. Different than Java, yeah. Yep. I think actually there's a lot of work to make Java pretty secure. It's a pretty mature language. Um, Yahui, do you know um, for like branch protection mm -hmm. or fuzz test any existing like API. Well, I didn't find, find anything related to this matrix yet. Branch protection is something that exists on the platform, so it should be derivable from an API on GitHub or Giddy okay. or GitLab. Yeah. I say should be like it's an obvious thing that I would want an API mm -hmm. endpoint for, so I'm sure someone else has thought of it already. Okay, what about fuzz test? And I know we've discussed it in other work groups. I don't know of a. There's a lot of a, around, yeah. around fast test, uh, 
uh, from Google and in my company also put a lot of effort on this first test. But um, I'm not sure how to use a, any public API to, to check if this project uh, deployed first test. Okay. Okay. Uh, what about signed release? This is something we can take a look at, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. I mean, every every release in the package have to be signed. Uh, it uh, it we maybe need uh, the, there are already a lot of tools support to do that. Okay. I mean, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, about reality score, um, this part, I think the, the whole reality score per se, it's a, it's a metrics model. It's, it's not just a metric. So I just have a little bit of concern about this. That it's a kind of bringing in a model to a model? Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to. I mean, like I said, I was just capturing it from a prior, it was in the prior earlier version of this document. So because, uh, in, in the project engagement and the community activity, we actually I get, uh, yeah. have references from this uh, metrics array. Yeah. Maybe we can create another metrics model, call it criticality score. I gotcha. Yep. Um, right. Because I mean, you're, the point is, is that this, the criticality score contains <laughs> The, there's a lot of it's it's a proxy for many things for many metrics essentially commitment. well it's it's like if it's like a i would call it a course metric because it the score that you get there it gives you a very high level overview of the project yeah and that makes it useful so that you don't have to do a lot of analysis of the 35 parts of the ossf scorecard you can look at that one part and get a, a high level clue can you, um, Sean, can you get the criticality score from OSS Ceph? Yeah, it's one of the one of the things they generate. OSSF. I, I have a hard time saying OSSF too. I do. Um, <laughs> the OSSF scorecard does allow that. Yeah. It is does, it, it's one of the things it provides. Is it an API? Well, OSSF scorecard is actually something you download and run. Um, and I download it and run it in Augur, and then I store it in an Augur table. But you can run it independent of Augur, of course. It's its own project. Yeah, I, I also try that. Uh, actually, scorecard, scorecard, and criticality score. They, this we can treat it this two as a two independent metrics model, and each of single metrics model have a clear definition of the metrics included in the scorecard and the criticality score. And um, for, for, for our metrics model here, software security risks, which have more uh, re, uh, linked, linked with, uh, with the security score, a scorecard, because a scorecard is more care about the the whole security things. Okay, I mean, we can, we, yeah. I just put that, I documented that, that maybe, and, and in the chaos project, we have created uh, metrics from existing, we basically documented other people's work as metrics. So for example, <clears throat> Libyear was not mm -hmm. our creation. That was something that existed. Isn't that right, Sean? And we created yeah, metrics. It existed and we, we just, Used the it. logic and put it in Augur. And then I think um, another metric is project velocity was another metric that we didn't create that was created by the CNCF, um, mm -hmm. whatever their their thing is called, you know what I'm talking about? And so yeah. we just documented yeah. that as well. So it's, it's possible for us to do what you're talking about. Yeah. You know, 
Sure. Even the project crit, uh, criticality metric includes a dependent count, which we are including in upstream code dependency. So right here. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, this is very helpful. Thank you. Um, and the, the OSSF scorecard actually does check fuzzing. Yeah, exactly. No, um, that's new. That's like not the last time I looked at this grid. Not not in the credit score. It's in the uh, score. score. It's a separate result. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. I can I can send you the link. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm looking at it, but it would be good to see the link you're looking at to make sure we're looking at the same thing. <laughs> We'll put it in the chat. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so wait a minute. Uh, here. Is it is it the binary artifact existed part of the scorecard? This is yeah yeah already existed. Yep yeah, yeah that's what I'm looking at. It's exactly where I am. Okay. And if you scroll down there and Matt, you see a grid that. Is a t it's like a table in ASCII format. I think it's here. Yeah, there. That's exact. Yeah, it's exactly what I'm looking at. So, what's the as far as this we're concerned here? I mean, is what's the what's the step forward? Do we think? So uh, we can create, a, <clears throat> there's two, two options for me. We can create another new uh, metrics model with just the exactly same as a scorecard and create added score. Okay. Or, or we can abstract uh, some useful and meaningful metrics from these two uh exists the matrix model i mean the critical score and the scorecard to our own matrix model like he defined I, here i yeah i think the stuff that ossf is doing can be consumed by chaos my ex my experience with it yahoo is that it changes a lot and regularly so how we represent the data it has to be we have to be sort of searching the JSON that comes back for the things that we want because they add new stuff all the time. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, okay. Um, they, the OSSF group is moving very fast. They have a high velocity. And so yeah. the outputs of these tools frequently changes. And just when we consume them, we have to be ready to, I mean, well, the way we do it in Augur is, we have a set of the things that are in the scorecard that we consume and we look for them so that we're, I don't know, not, not vulnerable to the frequency of changes that we can make a planned yeah. effort to uh, incorporate new things as we're able to, so that when they add something new, effectively, if we just, it's difficult to make it work if we're not if, we're, if we want to do more than just dump the JSON and show it to people, mm -hmm. we have to target specific things that we already know are there and then mm -hmm. ignore the new things until we're ready to not ignore the new things. So the chaos tool development lifecycle is slower than the OSSF lifecycle. Um, like they seriously are making new changes every single week. <laughs> maybe, we think maybe we can create our own metrics model. Yeah, we could do that. And and yeah. and I think you know, like if we look at the grid under the criticality score repo, we just pick the things in there that we want and it's maybe the all the things that are there today and we enumerate them in our metric model. And mm -hmm. then when they add four things in two weeks yeah. or or not things that we build are not gonna break. That's yeah. all I'm saying. It's like more of a technical observation. Yeah, so 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 I think our cho our choice is that we set up our own metrics model instead of just the import <coughs> their, their their own credit score or, or scorecard into our metrics model. It's well, or we could specify the parts of the scorecard that we expect to be included in our metrics model and yeah. just rely on that tool. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that way we don't have to recreate the wheel, but we also aren't 
susceptible to breaking changes that they'll introduce. So the, the tool would be Augur in this case, is that correct? Oh, it could be, it, this could be, I'm sure easily be incorporated into Grimoire Lab. Okay. Yep. Like okay. it's, it's a separate yeah. repo. We just call it from, it's written in Go. All these tools, the criticality score, the scorecard, they're all written in Go. Okay. And we just have a Python wrapper around Go and Augur. And, you know, in some respects, Grimoire Lab actually wouldn't be as susceptible as Augur to the breaking changes because all Grimoire Lab does is consume JSON. So there's not a pre, there's not an a priori structure that's, ex, that's necessarily expected, which is good and bad. In this case, it's good. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what's just before we wrap up here, what's the advantage for us to actually create a metric model that is our own when OSSF is also doing kind of similar work? So the only advantage is that we are defining the things that we're looking at and we're constraining the likelihood, we're limiting how much our definite, it's, we're limiting how much our metric model will break when OSSF introduces new things to criticality score or scorecard. Okay. That's the only reason that I think we would do that. I don't know what Yahoo thinks. That's what I think. But. I think, I think, I think we, the reason we create an independent uh, metrics model, which have uh, some close relationship with the uh, scorecard. Mm -hmm. for example in the security risk which is needed because we have our thing we have our own thinking about the whole security things and um, and we can give them the clear definition because in the scorecard our our, our criteria score they only cover the data sources in github instead of the more uh, broad uh, 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 code host the platform like GitLab or Git. Okay. Okay. So, you, so both of you so, see that there is value in pushing this as a metric model. Vinod, yeah, as I think so about it, my, I hear what you're saying. Sorry. Yeah. The these these OSSF things are a component in our metrics model. Is what I heard you say in short. So uh, listening to you, can this be implemented on the Gitty and GitLab or uh, different platforms? Is that yeah. correct? And you know, that's no. a super good question. Yeah, that, that's why I mentioned here, because scorecard and the career score, the, the application uh, provided by OSSF only support the, the project hosted uh, um, in, in GitHub. So we could create a generalized yeah. version of, okay, that I missed that point. Yes. That's important. We could, we yep. could create a generalized version of this. That's not dependent on GitHub. Yep. yep. And that's a, I think that's a big value add, honestly. Yep. Okay, great. Look at that. We're at time. Whoa. Well, Good to see you, Hui. Yeah, it's good to see everybody. Yeah. Thank I you, see everybody. Matt and Yo you know, all the time. Yahui, I don't see that often. So yeah. Well. <laughs> good to see you, Yahui. And the rest of you guys, I'll see yeah, you again whatever. tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> see you Bye. later, everybody. Take care. Thank you.